When the power grid is negative and the power generation is relatively large, they encourage everyone to use electricity. Our goal is in Germany, the use of this intelligent and flexible interaction between the battery swap station and the power grid. We try to make our electricity prices zero or even negative as much as possible. That is to say that electricity can still make us money. There is such a good thing as using electricity to make money. Actually, I know that every now and then there will be negative electricity prices in Europe when the power grid is negative and the power generation is relatively small. Everyone is encouraged to use electricity. This is mainly related to new energy power generation. Because of this long-term power supply being unstable, they don't want the excess electricity anymore. Another opportunity is to interact with the power grid. Everyone knows that in the future there will be a battery swap station and the battery swap station will have different and fast storage of this battery. So the battery swap station is naturally also an energy storage station. So the battery swap station has the function of energy storage while it will also be boosted by negative electricity prices. Here's the perfect energy storage solution. Battery can be stored, for example, even if you have 70 kilowatt hours. If there's 20 batteries, it can store more than 1000 kW. And what about the European side? A lot of the electricity generation is already gas power. They need energy storage to store it, especially if you don't have energy storage to store and balance. The peak and trough of the power grid reducing the stress on the power grid. New energy generation brings some new and such challenges. Swap stations as an energy storage facility perfectly solves this problem. So it's a great energy storage facility in its own right. With the NIO during battery swap, you don't need to get off. For EVs during charging, you need to get off. Even filling up a gas tank, you need to get off. The swap is done very quickly. The health of the battery safety also gets checked. This is a third generation swap station. It can store 20 batteries. What is his benefit? You don't need to buy the larger capacity battery pack. We all use the same size battery pack. There are different materials inside the materials of the cells. The energy density is just different. For example, the standard 75 kilowatt hours pack is lithium iron phosphate. Then there's the long range 100 kilowatt hour pack. And then there's the extra long range 150 kilowatt hour pack. The first time I tested it live, it got over 1000 kilometers. That's newer material. So during daily life, the 75 kilowatt hours of electricity is enough. Let's say I need to travel 500 kilometers. Then what I can do is rent that extra long range pack and spend 150 RMB. I can travel 1000 kilometers longer. So this is actually a consideration for battery swapping cars. This one is upgradable. So with NIO, the entire service model is called rechargeable, swappable and upgradable. We do still have a lot of people who haven't seen our battery swaps. Let me introduce you to it. The battery swap itself is simple. It's just a battery with no electricity. Remove it and then it's put aside and the charged battery gets put on. It's as simple as that. It's not complicated at all. Three minutes for battery swaps. It's as fast as refueling. Also, you don't need to touch any chargers or worry about battery degradation. It is the ultimate convenience. You usually go here to learn more about our cars. This is a mobile NIO space. The test drive for us is placed here. This is also a test drive car that can be used universally. A colleague sales rep will be here at the table. What is this? It's a test drive. Now scan the code now to test drive. We're open here Monday to Saturday, nine o'clock to 6 p.m. Okay, good. This is our head of energy in Europe, AKA the European version of Shenfei Energy Head Kaiser Caesar would like to introduce you to our battery swap station in Heyuden. One of the top three battery swapping stations is in Norway. One is the Hilton's battery swap station that we see today in Germany. There is also one in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. So three places compete every day to see who's got the most battery swaps. In China is not comparable. There's no comparison. This one pretty much is how many battery swaps do we have here? As soon as we started, we just opened two years ago and before it was about two swaps per day. Now it gets about 15 battery swap per day. We wish it will grow faster because in China, the most popular swap station with the most battery swaps in one day gets 195 orders. So if the EU stations can get 195 orders a day, that's awesome. This time I am on a business trip with Chin Li Hong in Europe. I want to seize this opportunity to take a look at the NIO house in Frankfurt. This is a conference room. This conference room is really good. And for NIO users, if you come to Frankfurt for a meeting, you can reserve this conference room. You don't need to go to a hotel to rent one. Two hours are free. After two hours, charges start. The sales team have their meetings here every morning. We post a phrase called thriving. Yes, orders are increasing. Let's write a couplet here. There is a forum over here. This is the forum area of our NIO house. This color is very good. This is the color of our new South Antarctic blue. Frankfurt's NEO life is very developed. Approximately 200 activities a month. How many people can this place accommodate? 
50 to 60 people, regardless of whether it's a university or some commercial institutions and some associations, this place is very good for artists. Currently we have five cars on sale in Germany, but now in Norway we have more ES8S right now. The ET5T is also selling the most in Germany about the ET5T. It starts at more than 52,000 euros here. This configuration does not include the battery. In Germany, the penetration rate of bass batteries is 95%. It also has some tax benefits. Yes, the completion of the NIO house in Frankfurt is very high, and I think it's been well maintained this past year. Yes, blue sky coming. Think how many years it will take us to drive from China to Europe, from Shanghai to Amsterdam, five or six years. Maybe, in fact, 50 battery swap stations should do it, about 10,000 kilometers, 200 kilometers per battery swap station. 50 in total, add a little buffer, maybe 60 stations total. Let's not wait until the end of 2029. Let's not wait until 2030. Let's not wait until 2030. End of 2029. Sound good. At the end of 2029. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Call Shenfei through the screen. Are you watching the live broadcast? Shenfei is not watching the live broadcast. It's done. In fact, both China and Europe are already okay. China is just the middle section. We currently have our westernmost station in Changji, Xinjiang 1, at the easternmost part of Europe near Latvia, just over 300 kilometers away. We're in Hungary because our battery swap station factory is there. Open the test station. In fact, we really need new facilities to do it. There is still a chance. There is a chance. There is a chance. The Firefly sub-brand will be launched next year, and it will definitely support battery swapping. So one thing that was very apparent nowadays is that CEOs are doing live streams more and more. And Neo CEO also said this is really helping Neo out in terms of marketing. And what was really interesting was he said in his live stream that before he came over to Germany at 2 a.m. He recharged his TikTok. Basically, he put some money on TikTok and he got discovered by his wife and his wife was, you know, giving him hell about it. Like, why are you charging money on TikTok? Of course, he wanted to promote Neo and and do more live streams and do that kind of stuff and uh, he sort of make, made a joke about it during this live stream so of course uh, this was really good marketing and this was live stream towards the Chinese audience it's more to advertise about how great Neo is both in China and Europe so this whole entire time he's explaining battery swap and what it's all about to introduce Neo and swap stations to the viewers as if they were learning about Neo for the first time. So this is definitely going to really help out with marketing and having this international exposure is also very, very good. Letting people know that uh, they are there in Europe as well. Now, uh, one thing that they covered was the Firefly sub-brand, which is definitely coming out next year and can definitely do battery swap. And this is definitely one of the keys to the puzzle for Neo to get to a trillion dollar market cap. So stay tuned for that. That's also going to help us out long term.